Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. So in the last video, we saw how we could build bar chart animations like the one that you see on the screen using Python and basically just matplotlib. So in that video, we walked through all of the steps. We started with a basic static plot. Then we saw how we could animate that plot. And then we saw how we could add styling and just more interestingness to that animation. In this video, we're gonna do another time series animation. We'll specifically do a um, line graph animation. So we'll visualize stock price data over time. But to make things interesting in this video, let's speed run it. Let's see how fast we can do this from complete scratch to an animation like the one you see on the screen. The code is linked in the description, but let's get right into it. Okay, the first step is to get our data. So we're going to get our data from NASDAQ. I can look up like AMD historical stock price. NASDAQ we will compare AMD to Intel to NVIDIA. I'm gonna take the max, download historical data, then I'm gonna get Intel's. Okay, okay, historical quotes, max, download historical data, and then finally we want NVIDIA's. So we go here, NVIDIA, historical quotes, max, download historical data. We have our three files. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my finder window. We can rename these real quick. So this most recent one was NVIDIA, just so I remember which is which. This one was Intel's, and this one was uh, AMD's. So now we have that, let's start writing, opening a place that we can write our code. I'm gonna open up a terminal window, navigate into my code folder. I'll make a directory called like line animation. I will navigate into that. And then I will move those downloads into this folder. So I have intel.csv. Uh, we'll move it here. We want to move amd.csv and we want to move uh, nvidia.csv. I'm gonna go ahead now and open this up in VS Code by doing code period. Okay, we have VS Code open. Let's create a new Python file called like createanimation.py. Uh, import the libraries we'll probably need. So um, import pandas as pd, import nump as np, sure, sure. Sure. Oh, it already knows <laughs> we might want to do an animation. I'm gonna hold off on this real quick. Import uh, maybe Seaborn as SNS. Let's look at our data real quick. We'll just look at the AMD file first. Um, DF or DF equals pd.read CSV data.csv. We'll just do amd.csv. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and then print df.head. Um, okay, we got our data looking like this. We will animate just using, how about the date column and the close slash last column. Do we need to do any sort of processing on this? Do a quick df.info. Okay, this should be a date time column, this first one. And this, I do see, and when we printed it out, that it has a dollar sign. So let's just get rid of the dollar signs there. So df date is a date time column, df, uh, close will replace, this was called close slash last. We will replace our dollar signs with nothing and we wanna make it a float, that looks good. Go ahead and plot this, or plot dot plot, uh, date close and then plot dot show, run this. And we get something that looks like this, this looks pretty good. Now it's a matter of animating this. Um, one thing we could do too is we wanna maybe show it over time. So it might be better to do something like fig ax equals plot.subplots. And we can make a fig size like equal to 10, six, or maybe we even make it a little bit more horizontal. So this will be two times the width as it is height. And then we can do ax.plot and we can do uh, plot.show, that should still work, run this. Okay, now it's a little bit more like the dimensions we expect, that looks good. Let's go ahead and animate this. And I think like you could remember all the syntax to animate it, but I think that honestly, I'll just copy this code. I'll open up a uh, light, come on, screwing me up. Uh, Chrome, I'll open up Claude. I've been using Claude the most as an LLM recently over like ChatGPT. 
Um, help me create a matplotlib animation, func animation. I have the following plot so far. Um, and maybe I also tell it my data frame looks like this if it helps. Uh, what does the data frame look like? I like to give like the data frame as context. Okay. Chrome. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, copy the code, copy the code, go back to Visual Studio Code. All right, paste in our code. Let's see what our animation looks like now. DF is not defined, are you kidding me? df equals pd.read csv. All right, let's run that. Okay, that's looking pretty good, honestly. I would like it to go a little bit quicker. If we look at our code, how could we get it to go quicker? Um, let's make this like five milliseconds. It'll be six times as fast as it just was. Look at this. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so that was the AMD stock price. Um, let's get our animation to be modified. I'm gonna also share the code real quick because I had to add that. Okay. Okay, my code looks like this. I also have a nvidia.csv file and a uh, intel.csv. I'll make a little line here. See, data that I want to plot simultaneously, make modifications so that I can plot, animate all three at once. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see how it does. There's probably a way to simplify some of this. I see a lot of repeat code, but copy that. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Paste it in. Run this. Okay, look at that. Let's go. Um, if we looked at our original animation, so if I go back to Chrome, if I look at our original animation, we also had a little ticker marks on the last point, so I'm going to ask for that as well. Add ticker marks with value stock is currently at in last frame for each of the lines. I think other than that though, we're basically there. Like that's pretty dang good.
Okay, seems to have done it. So it added some, let's see where it added it. Is annotations. And then it probably will update the Intel annotation on each of these runs somewhere. Intel animation, okay. I'm just gonna copy it, let's see if we can. Run, run. Okay, it's not showing the ticker mark, not showing the ticker mark. Not showing. I want the price to show on the right side of the line near the last frame plotted. Okay, something about this blit equals true was screwing with things. It looks like, we'll see if it's actually correct with that. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. I heard if you yell at the computer, it, it works faster and clawed and all that, I have feelings. Come on, come on. And I think one thing to note too is that we got lucky. I think all of our data frames started at the same spot, but it's not necessarily the case that it, they do. So I don't know if this code takes that into account or not, but if you were manually programming this, something to think about. Why are the ticker prices not? Oh, it's showing over here on the right side. Uh, I wanted it to be right near the label, but still, that's pretty cool. Okay, one more modification. Keep legend how it was, but show ticker, show stock price labels at a position near the last point plotted on the line graph. Right, this might do it, this might do it. And then we would want to probably save it Gosh, you're taking so long. I like how I can complain about it being taking long. It's like crazy how much code, like just the fact that this is even this thing. All right, paste in the code. I'll make sure to save or like share this code. There we go, that's pretty good. Uh, not quite the same. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. Like that's pretty cool. Like I kind of would like the stock price next to it too. And I'm sure if I just specified that, it would also have it. So, you know, 2020 until still doing pretty well. AMD is starting to rise though, starting to rise, starting to rise. And we see Nvidia still kind of just chilling, 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 but it just takes off 2024. Look at that, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, that's uh, basically it. Let's just, I guess, um, I also want stock name showing up on that moving label. Come on, come on. Okay, one more paste. Uh, it depends on what you're thinking, but this is kind of cool. I kind of like this. <laughs> it's just funny how much different variants you can get with like these AI type um, graphs, but that's, that's pretty cool. Honestly, we wouldn't really need a legend in this case. I think the last thing you'd want to see is you might want to save this as a video. So uh, if we look at Oh, what did I just do? All 
Um, if we look at our files right now, we could do animation dot save uh, animation dot mp4. We could use the FFmpeg writer, 30 frames per second. Would that be enough? You might want to make it like 60 frames a second. I'm not sure what would be the proper speed. Uh, you could also save this as a GIF if you wanted to. Um, something like this. And that will we'll see these get created over here. Once we start seeing the GIF be created, we'll check the video. Let's check this animation. Look at that. It is working. That's pretty cool. So we have a saved video now. And I think like, you know, another, the next steps I would do here, we also have a GIF. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, looks like it, that didn't work, but you could figure out how to do the GIF with image magic. Um, basically what I showed, uh, you know, the next thing I would look at is like, is there something we could simplify here? Uh, you also kind of, you know, can play around with this. So it's, it's important to kind of understand details enough. So like it's getting the data, like this could definitely be added to a function, but it's totally fine too that it's doing it like this because it's clear. Um, this is the labels. So we have NVIDIA, these text, this is the stock price and the you know value that's added here. And they, they get set over here using F strings and this you know nice syntax. So you can kind of like you know generate code like this, but then you want to understand it. But that was a speed run of creating an animated chart time series animation with Python and Matplotlib. Um, I will save this, I'll show this code, and maybe I could somehow show the progressions of the code or like share something about the, um, you know, Claude chat that I used here. I'm not sure how that works, but I'll try to see what I can do. If you enjoyed this quick little video, make sure to throw the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what I should make next, working on a few different things, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, everyone. Peace out.